Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. I'm very excited about this video because this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these earrings, but this design actually started out as a bracelet that I drew on a piece of paper maybe almost a year ago. Um, the, it, the design looked awesome on paper, but when it came to actually making it, it was really confusing. So after, you know, a lot of times gone by, I've worked on several projects, I wanted to go back to it and I started to work it up with actual beads because I haven't done it yet. I just kept, you know, trying to figure it out in my mind and I couldn't. It was just so complex. So anyways, I started doing the design and I figured it out and it's actually not that hard and I'm wondering Okay, I don't know if anybody's ever done a stitch like this before. I've never seen anything like this before, but um, it's really cool. I came up with it on my own, but looking at it and trying to identify what the stitch is, I kind of want to say that this is actually a lot like right angle weave, but it's done like sideways. So right angle weave is horizontal, it's flat, but I flipped it and I'm like doing it vertically. So do I call it vertical right angle weave? I don't know. Um, you'll see as I start working on it and making it up. Now the bracelet design is more advanced. These earrings here are easier. And so I'm showing you guys how to do the earrings first, and then after I film this video, I'm going to do the bracelet. And both of them are really cool, and I actually have also figured out how to make this weave into a necklace, and I'll show you the necklace in the bracelet tutorial because I actually have not finished that yet. So anyways, uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make these incredible earrings. They're so wild. I want to play with this weave more, use different kinds of beads. I will be making the mate to this one. I made this one with shell beads, and um, I will have links down there for you guys. So um, I am using, going to the material list, I'm using three feet of either six pound monofilament or you can do fire line so either or I'm gonna do monofilament for this you're also going to need disc beads these are shell discs I think these were 10 millimeter I got these from BB craft I will link them down below there's 500 in here I've already used these in a previous tutorial where I showed you guys how to make uh, flowers I'll put a picture of that up now If you didn't go see that video, you gotta watch it because that was a really cool design. It was one of my favorite designs that I've ever made up to date. It's awesome. And then um, I have played around with different disc beads. So these were shell, but um, in my bead stash, I had these. These are hematite. They are three by eight millimeter. They're calling them rondelles, but really they are a disc shape. I got these from Michael's. It has the green um, bead gallery tag. It was a long strand. These also come in a smaller size, which I have, and I was going to try them. And it really, I think that any disc bead will work for this. You can try any size you want. You just have to keep in mind, the bigger your disc is, the bigger, you know, your piece is going to be. But yeah, I like the 8 millimeter up to like a 12 millimeter disc for this stitch. And you're also going to need either twin beads which is what I have right here well actually this is a mix I got this from BB craft too and there is a mix of twin beads and super duos in here so these are twins 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 these are super unos twins twins super duos twins 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 super unos super duos twins and super duos and super duos and I think I already said those are twins yeah you could tell by looking at them Anyways, there's some really pretty colors in here. I really like this one. I want to use this one. And these two here are awesome. And this one I'm actually using in the bracelet tutorial, and you will see it. It's so pretty. So anyways, I will link this down below. Now, I'm actually going to be using these here that are from my bead stash. These are Super Duos. This is Jet Bronze color for these earrings here. And I'm also using Czech Seed Beads. And, um... I think that, though, that you can really use any seed bead you want. I don't think you have to stick to a certain brand or kind of seed bead. You can explore with this. But yeah, basically you need a two-hole bead, super duo or twin bead. You need disc beads, any size you want, and 11 seed beads. And for these earrings, because of how they're made, I had to make my own ear wires. So do you see how I did the top here, the beading? 
normally ear wires, the loop is going in this direction, so I had to make my own ear, ear wires, which I love doing because they're actually nicer than store-bought ones, and I had to turn the loop the opposite direction to get this to hang. But yeah, if you don't make your own ear wires, you can just twist the loop. Or you can use a jump ring, but I, I, I didn't like how it looked with a jump ring, so I went this route. So I think this is everything you will need. And remember, I always put the list of materials and the links down there in the description bar, along with my links to my social media sites. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I went ahead and I cut my three feet of six pound monofilament, and like I said, you can use fire line or monofilament, it's up to you, but um, you will have to use like a six pound in order to pass through the 11 or C beads. So the earring I'm making today is going to be the mate for this one, and I wanted to show you guys that the shell beads I am using are not all made the same because they are natural. Um, some of the shell beads are completely white both sides, then there's some that are like a peach color, then there's some that are like uh, brown on one side, white on the other side. So anyways, I really liked the look of this side here because it's like rusty and vintage looking. And these seed beads I'm using, I think they're called mahogany, they're made by Preciosa. And I just love this look. So I purposefully went through all of my shell disc beads and I picked up the ones that were brown on one side and white on the other. So I have to pay attention to this and make sure that I pass through the correct side of the bead. Now. In my next tutorial, I'm going to be doing this stitch in a bracelet, and I actually found um, Czech disc beads in my stash that are double-sided. So I'm going to make a double-sided bracelet, which I'm very excited about, but I know it will be somewhat of a challenge to me, and I have to pay attention to every single bead I pick up to make sure I get it right. Which, if you guys have double-sided beads in your bead stash, you can use them, and this will be cool, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So. You first want to start out by picking up your seed beads, and I really do love using check for this because I have them in a container like this, you know, and they're pretty uniform, and I can just uh, scoop through the beads like that. Now you have to figure out how many seed beads you will need for your discs, and you can use so many different size discs, like I said, but um, I found that for this disc, I think it was a 10 millimeter disc, I need exactly uh, three check seed beads. So see how it goes from the center of the hole to the edge of the disc. This is how many I need. So to figure out how many you need, this is what you have to do. You have to pick up your seed beads and you want your seed beads to go from the center to the edge and once you figure out how many you need. The bracelet that I'm doing, I'm actually doing uh, four seed beads, but these discs are smaller so I have to do three. So I picked up, um, actually the first bead I have to pick up is going to be a disc bead and I'm going to go through the white side and come out through the brown side. This is going to be the top and then I pick up my three seed beads, okay? Now let's see, I want some that are thicker. Those are good, okay. And then a super duo or twin bead. Oh, and I also found out that bar beads work for this if you have them in your stash. And um, I think mini round duos is another one, which is thicker. So you have to keep that in mind. The thicker your beads, the more thread you will use up. These here are very thin. I think they're like a one millimeter thin. These beads, and by the way, they call them rondelles to these disc beads. Um, these are three millimeters thick on this earring here. The bracelet I'm doing, I have the one check bead, I think it's like four millimeters thick. So because of that, I have to use more thread. So that's something that it's important that you guys ne you need to know about. So I have my disc bead here. I'm coming out of the brown side. I picked up my seed beads and my super duo. Now I'm going to pick up another disc, but this time I have to go down to the brown side so that the brown side is facing up on both sides. And then I have to pass all the beads down like this and I'm going to leave a short tail not long at all maybe four or five inches because these are earrings I feel like I don't need much and then I'm going to pick up three beads okay slide them down and then take the needle and pass through this bronze bead slide it down like this. This is what I have, okay. And then I'm going to pick up three beads again. Oh, 
because I'm using monofilament, I try to stay, like, you make a, um, a, a fold right there in the monofilament. So whenever I'm working with monofilament and a needle, I have to make sure that I, like, stay in that fold. Because if I don't, I create, like, a whole bunch of folds and it's really annoying. And it just gets all, like, kinked up. So, anyways, I just put those three beads on. And now I'm going to go through this disc here. Okay. And now I have what looks like this. This is what it looks like from the side. And I gotta check my tail. I think my tail's too long. So I'm just gonna slide these down. These slide very easily. And let's see. Like this much tail. Okay, it's maybe like four, five inches long. Now what I'm gonna do is take my needle and I'm going to pass through these seven beads here. Three C beads, Super Duo, three C beads. Just like that. Pull the needle through and then pass down through the disc. Okay, so you have to remember you're coming out the bottom of the disc now because you have to, you know, pay attention to which the new disc you pick up, which side's facing up. Now, if you're only using disc beads that are the same on each side, you do not have to worry about this. So I have my three seed beads and then a super duo. And then three C beads again. I think that C bead's gonna break. Looks like it has an air bubble. Okay, there's my three. Slide them down. And I'm coming out the back side. So I have to pass through a disc on the bottom and come out the top. And then I have to pick up three C beads. Slide these down. Okay, just like that. I'm going to take my needle and pass through the Super Duo. And then pick up three again. And pass through my disc. Now you gotta look because I have three on this side. I now have to have three on this side, so I have to go through the top, the brown side of this disc. Okay. Pull this tight. Go like that. And now I'm going to take my needle. This is the one I just added. And I'm going to pass through all of these here. All seven of these beads. Okay. So like that. That's what it looks like. Pass through. Pull this tight, pull this side tight, take the needle, go down through the disc. You always have to exit out of a disc before you pick up any new seed beads. That's important. Now I'm going to pick up three beads, okay, super duo, and let's see, where am I at? I think it was at the bottom yeah, last time, so yeah. So now I'm going to fold this like this and I'm coming out the top of the brown so I have to go down through this one we're going to be making a triangle oh I forgot to pick up three I swear that I picked them up I have to go back out I made a mistake okay so three seed beads a super duo and three seed beads I could have sworn that I picked up all of them but I guess I didn't so like this, this is what you have to have. I'm on this side, so I have to go down through here. And then when you pull this, it turns into a triangle. And then you have to pick up three beads again. Slide them down. Okay, I'm on the back side. I'm going to go through this Super Duo. Ugh, I keep getting caught. See how this is flipping on me? I need this to be on this side. Come on. Cooperate. It's because I'm using monofilament. If I was using Fireline, I wouldn't have that problem. But yes. 
monofilament can be argumentative because it is a stiff. Okay, picking up three beads, sliding them down. I have to close up my triangle. I have this. I have to come through here. Be careful that you don't pass through any seed beads when you go through a disc. Because the needle likes to do that. Okay, so pull that there. Pull this tight. This is what I have so far. Pretty cool. Now I try to make this stay at the bottom right here my tail as I go now I'm going to pick up three seed beads a super duo three seed beads a disc I'm coming out the top of the brown so I have to go I got my seven beads there I have to go down to the next brown and then I have to pick up three seed beads again. Slide those down. And then I'm going to go through this super duo. And then three seed beads. Okay, just like this. You can see those three are on that side. That means I have to go through this side now. So I have this. And then I have to stop and tighten this all up. Because we don't want any loose beads. And sometimes your seed beads will want to go in the holes if you have large holes. So you have to take your needle and pop them out. Don't let them do that. Don't let them misbehave. Okay, so let's see. This is where I'm at right now. Okay, I have to take my needle. Coming out this disc, I have to pass through these seven beads. So do you see how we're working this so far? It kind of makes me think of right angle weave, but it's like we're doing it vertically instead of flat. So what do you guys think? Do you think that this would be like a variation of right angle weave? Okay, I'm coming out of that seed bead there, but in order to add more, I have to go through a disc duo. Not a disc duo, a darn uh, disc bead. Okay, I'm coming out the back side. I have to pick up three. I did think about disc duos in this, you know, the two hole flat bead, but um, they are way too thick to put in between uh, these so I, I didn't do it but yeah I went through all my two hole beads and I was wondering what all I can use so uh, three seed beads a super duo and three seed beads again sliding it down I have to pick up a new disc this one is actually going to be sitting right here so right now where my tail's coming out here that's this bottom of my earring so I'm going to go up through the back side and then I have to pick up three seed beads slide these down skip over those beads and go through the super duo and then pick up three here I am oops, did I lose my beads? nope I'm going to go through this side now. Pull it tight. I have to stitch through what I just added right here. Okay, so this is going to go like this. Okay, so I'm on this side. I'm coming out of the seed beads. I need to go through the disc. 
okay and then I need to connect this disc right here to this one and I think I need to zoom in some probably too far away so again pick up three beads three seed beads super duo three seed beads slide them down go through this disc okay and then three flip it over through this super duo pick up three down through this disc pull that tight okay and then I have to pick up three seed beads again super duo three seed beads again slide those down this is now going to be laying across to this disc right here so I'm gonna go down this one okay pick up three and then I have to go through my super duo pick up three again go down to this disc and then I have to pass through these okay because this is this is where my tails coming out this is gonna be the bottom of the earring so I have to go through these here actually should I go through there or should I just go you know what I can just go in that direction I think I will yeah we have two options we can either go down here come out here and go like that with our sea beads or we could just go this way and then go down and then we can come back up but I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna go this way I'm gonna add in the disc there's two different ways I could do it okay so picking up three seed beads super duo three seed beads I'm coming out of the brown side so I have to go down to the brown side and then three seed beads through the super duo three seed beads slide them down I'm on this side I need to come through the white side okay I'm going to flip this over, pulling it tight, pass the needle through all of these beads here that I just picked up, like that. Then I have to go down through my disc. I'm now on the back side. I'm going to pick up three seed beads, a super duo, and three seed beads. I'm gonna go through the disc but on the back side coming out pick up three seed beads okay go through the super duo
and then three seed beads down through the disc okay so we're now halfway through the earring right here is my tail it's the same spot right there this is where we're at okay so coming out the back side I have to pick up my three seed beads super dough three seed beads again slide them down pick up a disc I want to have the, the white side facing up well here I'll show you I'm coming out the back side going this direction so I have to come up now that means I have to go through the back side so that this is laying on the correct side and then I'm gonna pick up three seed beads and go through my super duo three seed beads those ones are too thin there we go oops I lost it okay I'm gonna go down through this disc because I'm on the back side currently so I have to go on this direction and then I have to stop and pull it tight Okay, I have to sew back through these beads here. Like that. And I always make sure that I look at it from the side because you want to make sure that it's tight. And you want to make sure that none of your seed beads are sinking into your disc holes. If you have, if you're using these same discs, because I have a link in the description where you can go get them to buy them if you don't have any disc beads and there's 500 in that bag that I got from BB Craft um, they do have large holes so you have to be careful that your seed beads don't sink in there and um, after you have it all tight they don't do it but um, it's just as you're working with it that they might do it okay picking up three seed beads again a super duo and three seed beads slide them down go through this disc bead here come out the back turn it pick up three beads slide them down go through the super duo Okay, three seed beads again. Here I am, I have to go through this disc, this disc. Why does that seem so weird to say? It's like tisk tisk or I don't know. It just sounds weird. Tisk tisk. Okay, there I am. Now I have to go in this direction. Okay, I'm coming out here. So again, three beads. Super duo, three beads. Slide them down. Go through a disc. I'm gonna go through, I'm coming out the top of the brown, so I have to go down to the brown now. And then my three beads. Not those ones, they're too skinny. I want the plump ones. The plump ones are the best ones. There we go okay sliding that down and then skipping over these beads here going through the super duo and then three beads again okay I'm on this side I need to go through this side and pull this tight so it's going to lay like this. I have to go through the seed beads on this side to get to my new disc that I just added. Through this disc. 
pick up three seed beads, a super duo, and three seed beads. It's going to go like that. And so I have to pass, I have to make a, a, what do you call it, a bead strand here. So I have to go down through the center now, which I'm going to wrap around my hand. So there we go. Okay. Come on. Oh, that's why I didn't want to go through. See that? I now have a new fold. This is my original one. My needle moved. That's what I was talking about. I hate it when I have several of them. I try to keep my needle in the same spot so I don't have several. Because it's annoying. Three seed beads. Then I have to go through my Super Duo. Okay. And then three seed beads. One time I made these earrings, I forgot one of the, I'll call them spokes. It's kind of like a spoke on a bicycle. Right here. See how I have six there? One time I got all the way up to here, you know, to the top to add my earring finding. And um, I realized that I was missing one of my spokes. So I'd take it out and do it over again. Passing through the disc. Like that. That's what each side looks like. Okay. Now I'm going to go in this direction. So I have to pick up my three beads. And a super duo and three beads again. I'm going to go like this. So through here. And then three beads through the super duo. Three beads down to the disc. Like that. Three beads. Super Duo. Wait a second. What am I doing? Am I doing this right? Yeah. Sometimes I gotta check myself before I wreck myself. You know what I'm saying? Alright. One more. There we go. I've got my seven beads. Sliding them down. Here's my last one. I'm on the back side, so I have to come up through this side. And then I have to pick up three, three again. And then I'm going to go through the Super Duo, and then three Seed Beads. Gosh, sometimes it seems like I pick up all the super thin ones, and then other times I pick up just like the really plump ones. And then I'm going to go through this side of my disc, and pull this tight. I need it to go like that, so I'm going to go through all of these. Go down through this disc. Ow. Okay, I have to connect this one to here, so I'm going to pick up three again super duo three I'm on the front side I have to go through this one come out here like that now I'm on the back side I have to pick up three three plump ones Yes. Through the Super Duo. Almost to the top. There's actually two different ways that I thought of of finishing this earring. I'll tell you about them because um, you might like it a different way than the way that I finished mine. But yeah, I thought of two different ways of doing it. Okay, picking up three. Going through the disc. Make sure you don't pass the any seed beads on this side. Alright. Making sure it's all tight. 
This is what it looks like from the side. I actually really like how it looks from this angle. I don't know why. Maybe it's weird. This one looks cooler. I guess because these discs are plump. They're thick in the middle and then thinner on the edges and they're three mil they're three by eight millimeter uh, disc beads, also called rondelles, which I don't know why they call them rondelles, because when I think of rondelles, I always think of faceted rondelles. I don't think of rondelles, you know, being a disc shape. It's a weird name. So, anyways, there's two different ways that you can finish this. Looking at this one here, I picked up three seed beads, super duo or twin. These silver ones are actually twins. And then five seed beads, and then... Um, three seed beads again and I went through here and I reinforced this I think it was two times now because it's like that you have to use ear wires that are looped in this direction so if you don't make your own ear wires you can just twist a loop on a pre-made pair and do it the same way but another way that I thought of is to pick up um, three seed beads a super duo and three seed beads I'll do it with you guys just so you know yeah, because sometimes I feel like you have to actually see it. That's how I am in order to understand. So, here's the other way. Pick up three seed beads. Super Duo, three seed beads. Okay. Is that three? Yeah. Then I'm going to go through the disc. Hopefully it's enough seed beads. I might need four on each side. Let's see. Yeah, actually, I do. Wait, wait. No. Maybe four. So, I went like this, okay. So, I would just reinforce this again. Go around here. I probably do need four on each side instead of three. And, um, after you reinforce this two times, you go back in here and tie knots. But see how the Super Duo is right now? If you want, you can open up an ear wire and pass the ear wire through the Super Duo. Because then the traditional ear wire loop is going in this direction so you could do it like that if you want or you could do it the way that I've done it which is actually the way that I prefer so I'm just going to take my needle off and I'm going to do it my preferred way my way is three seed beads super duo five seed beads Slide them down, go through the Super Duo, and then three seed beads, slide those down, go through the disc, pull that tight, pass through the seed beads, the Super Duo, and the seed beads. Pull it tight through the seed bead. Turn it around, down through all of these. And then through the disc. Okay, and there we go. We are now ready to tie knots. So to tie my knots, what I do, it doesn't matter which side you go on, but I do try to have at least two threads inside my seed beads. If you do more than two, it will be um, too much. You'll have a hard time passing through. At least with monofilament. If you're doing fire line, it's not bad. Okay, now I'm going to pass through three seed beads like this. Okay, pull it tight. Take the needle, go underneath right here, catching the thread, passing through the loop two times, and pulling the knot down in front of the Super Duo, and then passing through the Super Duo and the three seed beads. Sliding this down. 
going through the disc, pulling that tight, going through. You know what? I think I want to go back up this side because did you see how they just loosened up on there? There on me, so I can tighten this up by going through this side now and tying knot. So pass through these three, go underneath here, tie a knot, and then go through these four beads, and then I'll be out on this side, and then I can go through the opposite side over here and tie knots. So I just have my knots in front of the super duo because it's a bigger hole than the seed beads. And I go through here using up my monofilament and then when I'm done with that side I put my needle on this side and I do the same thing. Tie my knots in front of the super duos and you just want to follow the same thread path. Don't make any new ones. Don't take your needle out of a seed bead on the top and then shoot across to another seed bead on this side because you have to remember that you're constantly having to go up and down through the discs. That's how it's made so this is it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this was a really fun project and I hope you understood it and I'm really excited about the bracelet it's going to be more challenging but it's a really cool unusual design and what do you think do you think this is like a variation of right angle weave do we call it vertical right angle weave what do you think let me know in the comments. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Make sure you click the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.